All right, today we're looking at long division and just a review of completing the squares to, to integrate. So if you're, the degree of your numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator, likely you're gonna have to use long division, okay? And so let's just do a couple examples and I'll also remind you how to do long division. So we put the numerator inside and the denominator outside when we divide, so x plus two divided by x squared minus 4x plus 2. Also, we noticed that the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So this is a good opportunity for us to use long division. When I, If I use u substitution for x squared plus 2, it doesn't actually cancel enough stuff out. So we need to have another, we need to like think creatively on how to split this up, okay? So long division it is. So x squared goes into x squared one time. I multiply that through. I get x squared plus 0x plus 2. Just be careful that you um, uh, match your like terms. We're going to subtract. So I'm going to just change the signs on everything. And I canceled. Get negative 4x plus 0 is negative 4x. And then it looks like my constants cancel. I already worked down to the constant, so I don't need to go any further. So I get a remainder of negative 4x over x squared plus 2. So I can rewrite this integral as the integral of 1 minus 4x over x squared plus 2 dx. And then to make my life even better, I'm just going to write this as two integrals. So the integral of 1 dx minus the integral of 4x over x squared plus 2 dx. All right, so for the second integral, I am going to make the denominator u squared plus 2 equal to u. I get du is equal to the derivative of 2x dx. So dx is equal to du over 2x. I get the integral of 1 dx minus... 4x over u du over 2x. My x's cancel, and I get 1 dx minus 4 divided by 2 is 2, times the integral of 1 over u du. Yeah? Okay. So the integral of 1 is x minus 2 1 over u is u to the negative 1, which is ln of the inside, ln of u, plus c. Okay. And then I can replace my u in the absolute value of x squared plus 2 plus c. And that's it. All right, let's do the next one. Again, I see, oh. I don't know what happened. That's not the problem. Let's show this one. We're going to have from 2 to 3 of y plus 1 over y minus 1 dy. The numerator's degree is equal to the numerator of the, of the denominator. So, And when I use u for y minus 1, it doesn't do enough. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, divide. Yeah. I'll do it on the side. y plus 1 divided by y minus 1. So y divided by y is 1. Distribute. Change the signs. I end up with 0 and 2. So plus 2 over y minus 1. So I have the integral from 2 to 3 of 1 plus 2 over y minus 1 dy. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and integrate. So I get a y plus right here, I have the ln of y, the ln of the denominator, ln of the absolute value of y minus 1 times 2 from the numerator. And then any, I would also have to divide by the derivative of the inside, or you can make the, the denominator equal to u. And we are evaluating this from 
two to three. So I am going to plug in three first. So I get three plus two times the ln of the absolute value of three minus one minus two plus two times the ln of the absolute value of two minus one. And go ahead and distribute the sign. So I have three plus two ln of 2, I can change to parentheses since the absolute value of 2 is 2, uh, minus 2, minus 2 ln of 1, ln of 1 is 0, and then I combine my 3 and my negative 2, giving me 1 plus 2 ln of 2. Okay, last one. Just a reminder that sometimes we need to complete the square to make our, our integral more manageable, okay? So what we're going to do is take the denominator here and I'm going to say x squared plus 4x plus something, and then I move the eight to the outside. So I'm gonna take my B value divided by two and then square that value, which would be four over two squared, which is four. So I'm adding in four inside the parentheses. So in an expression, we need to subtract four on the outside. So factoring, I get X plus two squared plus four, okay? So I can rewrite this integral as one over x, square, x plus two squared plus four dx. And the reason why I like this is because this is an arctangent integral. I have my u squared plus my a squared for arctan. So what I end up with is my a is equal to 2 and my u is equal to x plus 2. So the integral of 1 over x, the quantity x plus 2 squared plus 4 dx is equal to the arctan of u over a, which is x plus 2 is u, and 2 is a. And then that whole thing we need to multiply by 1 over a. So 1 over 2. And then since it's an indefinite integral, we add our C. All right, that's it for today. Bye.